Bigger if face five. <laughs> tutorial about how to do all that if you are completely clueless then please look in the description below and you'll find a link to phases one to three the phase three video with phases one and two in this tutorial after this you will find um, phase four followed by how to play all the literal intricate bits in phase five and the medley of riffs that follows that if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. One, two, three, rest. Rest, finish. One. Across the D. got a couple of embellishments first of all to add to make it more interesting so for phase five all I'm doing there is playing the power chord in between I oh, sorry on either side of that hammer on from three to four on string five open power chord on a hammer on back to power chord and obviously I do that on D and then on E as well now there's also Towards the end of the bar, you've got, um, you go through the two, through the third fret of the fifth string with the second fret of the fourth. Back your power chord. Then you've got the third fret of the sixth string, cutting the fifth string off with a lazy second finger. And I'm going to go through the three strings to get that note to ring. That is the second fret of the fourth string. And also, my first finger touches the third string, so if I do go too far in my pick, the third string won't ring either. It's a pro trick. And then, so, and I do that also on D. Now there's another thing I do with those chords. I do a syncopated thing. One, two, three. That's right, I've got an exercise for you to help you play the syncopated chords in between the D to the A and the A to the D. One, two, three, and four, and. So I am going through the three strings again with my second finger on that C, the third fret of the fifth string. One, and I jump across in, in anticipation of the A power chord at the end of the bar, on the off beat at the end of the bar. One, two, three, and four, and. And then later on, you've got to do that from A to E. One, two, three. And it sounds, when you put it all together, four, and one, and two. Four, and three. Get the idea. So that's the other main thing about phase five, booger Now the run at the end of the booger riff part. That 
That's an E7 sharp 9 chord at the end. 7, 6, 7, 8. Okay. The run itself put off from 5 to 3 on the first string, second string, fifth fret. Slide down to second. Now you're adding one string, one finger at a time. Hammer on here from three to four. You could slide up if you can't do that. Pull off to the open string, pull off the open string again. Open six string, and then the E7 sharp nine. Okay, and now for the fun bit, which is, as you probably noticed, a little medley of almost riffs. In other words, I almost play Black Dog, well I play half of it. And then I almost play Taxman. The chromatic link. And of course, this is Layla. And then uh, later on, I've got one of my, my probably my favourite Beatles riff actually, which is Bulldog. Hey, Bulldog. And then a bit of a Hendrix E7 sharp 9 thing. Um, moving to D. And at the very end of that, you've got the one of the biggest cliches ever, which is a chromatic move up. This is a B flat seven partial chord. Down one fret. To one of my favourite voicings of A seven. <laughs> 